Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I am going to be talking you through um, the top five reasons why we decided to choose um, the Jayco Penguin Outback over other models. Now we looked at a whole heap of um, different caravans, different camper vans, different camper trailers, and we, we narrowed it down to a few that we liked of different um, of the different types, but ultimately we ended up going with the um, Jayco Penguin Outback. I want to tell you um, the main reasons why we did this. Reason number one uh, we picked this model is because we liked how easy and quick we found the setup. Now I only did a video the other day showing how quick um, our you know really basic setup is. And with the penguin, there's no um, pull-out beds or anything. It just pops up, as you can see, the way that it is now. This is our bed that we sleep on. This is our bed that we sleep on. And um, that is just part of um, the camper trailer. That doesn't get pushed out. Uh, we like how we can pop it down as well, um, which makes for easy towing. Um, it's travel height is 160 centimeters which is not tall at all I'm 165 centimeters and I am not that tall so it's um yeah like I can stand and see over it so it's a really good travel height if you're not too confident in towing or if you maybe uh, if it's your first time towing or if you just prefer something a little lower it just gives you more peace of mind it's really it's really good like that now we chose um, the um, Outback model because we wanted to be able to go um, along water crossings. When you go up to the Daintree and you go beyond that, there's quite a lot of water crossings. And um, I mean, our dream is to go all the, round, all the way around Australia one day. And that um, higher clearance just allows us to easily go through water crossings um, and things like that. Reason number three is we really liked the table slash couch slash single bed um, set up at the opposite end to our bed. So I'm just, the, the camera's currently sitting on it, but I'm gonna pick it up and turn it round. So as you can see, that is our bed that we sleep on. There's Walter. And if I turn around, we've got it currently set up um, as a table. Usually we actually have it set up as a couch because that's for the dogs to sit on. But today it's a table. It worked really well for us. We didn't need the extra room um, with an extra single bed as well as the, uh, the couch or the table. Just having it all in one worked for us because we're just a couple in the bed and then we have the dogs. Um, if you have extra people, that it's probably a good idea to look into that extra bedding. But when it's just a single or a couple and, you know, pet couple of pets, the setup of having just the one double bed and then the table slash couch area is really, really good. Okay, number four is our bathroom situation now we don't have a bathroom in the the camper as i showed i did a little turnaround just before um we don't ha we didn't we chose to not get um like a caravan with a bathroom instead we use um they're called julka en suites so we just have the single one at the moment and we just normally keep our um, portable toilet in it and then if we want to shower we just take the toilet out and put the shower in but we have just ordered the julka um the ensuite with three rooms it just got released um and we'll be getting it next year so that's got um one room for the shower one room for the toilet and one room for kind of changing and things like that so it just gives like that bit of extra space and then we don't have to you know take the toilet out if we want to have a shower and we didn't really feel like we needed a bathroom inside here we liked that we could have it maybe a little smaller and just have our bathroom set up on the outside and lastly number five i'm going to take you outside to show you number five because number five is our um extras so let's just pop outside and i will show you um the extras that we chose 
Um, so as I was saying for number five, um, the optional extras that we chose for the penguin, this is our outdoor kitchen. Now I have done a video on this before, about a year and a half ago now, probably due for an update. Um, but yeah, we, we much prefer to cook outside. We rarely ever cook inside. So this was one of the extras that we were like, yes, please. Okay, so first I push um, the stove part in, so it's just this blue latch here, push that down and that will clip in and I just have to grab this and this is the gas connector, push that in a little bit to get it in, then we push the other part down and beautiful and then it shuts up like that to nothing. It's like it's not even there but it is there so another extra that we wanted was the outdoor picnic table now this we had a little accident with this it was our fault what you really need to do you can't just pop it up you have to lock it in as well um, we didn't lock it in we just um, popped it up with it unlocked and whilst we were driving it fell open and we nipped the side luckily we didn't lose the whole table but we did nip the side so this is it popped out it is very very convenient um, the dogs can't get to it so it's a good place to put food and we also like to decorate it with sort of pretty pretty um, things when we're out pretty things we put mosquito candles and things like that on here. It's just like that extra space, it's like an extra table. And this is how I push it up. So as I said before, we didn't lock it in. So it was like this and then it was bad. Lock it in. One and two. Perfect. All right, guys, thank you for watching another video and um, stay tuned for more. And don't forget to like and subscribe and turn the notifications on.